Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on my channel where it's uh, Let's Play Pokemon White version. Now a couple of things I need to say is, um, why Adam, why did you choose Pokemon White is because I've actually never had this version of Black of the Gen 5 games. I know the story's good and um, I honestly I just want to catch a Zekrom for once in a Gen 5 game, legitimately. Um, something else I will say is, I will not be using legendaries in this run, and the idea of the let's play here is that, um, you, uh, will comment what Pokemon you would like me to use in the, uh, let's play, so it can be literally any Pokemon, and if it shows to be a bit useful, I will keep it, um, however, I will be picking my starter, which I would have chosen, um, well, have in my head, but that being said, let's get into it. Yeah, see how good my commentary is just going through this thing. So as you can see, it's completely new. Um, new game. Uh, I do have uh, my good friend Lucas voicing some of the characters. And I, <laughs> um, and this is my attempt at voicing some of the other characters. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Hey, it's Mincino. That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle with one another in, is particularly popular. I butchered that sentence. And it depends... And it... De oh, God. And it deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Okay. Well, that's enough about me. Could you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Okay, we're going to go with a girl character because that's what I legally classify as. I'm joking, I'm going to go with a boy. Because I am a boy. Uh, yep, I think I'm a boy. I'm not entirely sure. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Oh, that's the first time someone wanted to know my name. So, um, normally I go with, um, the name of, I normally go with the name of the main character in the anime being Ash, but I'm actually going to go with, um, my actual name, because, uh, it'll make more sense on who's the main character in the story. Yay! Your name is Adam. Yes. So, your name is Adam. What a wonderful name. Oh, thank you. That's the first time someone actually said that. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. I don't get to pick. Uh. This young man is Sharon. They're going to be voiced by Lucas, actually. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. Okay. Okay, well, that's going to be voiced by Lucas. That's fun. This young woman is Bianca, voiced by me. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be interesting. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Ooh, very. Hmm. Must be very important because it's two berries. Adam! Okay, sorry, sorry, I am diverting away from the topic. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I hope so, because those are the interesting people. I really hope you find what's important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new Pokemon. No, oh. <laughs> Befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That's its most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. And we're in summer. Summertime. Yeah. Game Freak presents. God, that was that was interesting to see me voice um, a woman. Pokemon White version. If I had to voice a white woman, uh, but if I had to voice a woman in the Lynx series, that would be very interesting. <laughs> Adam! I heard from Professor Juniper, we can have a Pokemon? Hmm. What's keeping Bianca? And there's Lucas's first lines. Hopefully it works well. Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca! I'm trying to tell him not to laugh right now. I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously? Today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. 
I know. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, Cherin. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Adam's house, so Adam gets first pick. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Hmm. <laughs> Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Adam. You go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Okay, well, um, let's pick the Pokemon. But first things first, I'm going to quickly go to the options and change it to fast speed because that will make life a lot easier. And uh, let's get into it. Adam, open the gift box. I bought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. Ah, oh, she's so nice. And here we are, three Pokemon. Silhouettes of three Pokemon, which in all honesty aren't that good. So we've got the Grass-type Pokemon Snivy, the Fire-type Pokemon Tepig, and the Water-type Pokemon Oshawott. Now, as I said, I already made up my decision for which one I'll be using. And um, even though Snivy and Oshawa I like a lot and Tepig not as much, I enjoy Snivy um, with its hidden ability. Unfortunately, it won't have it and it's kind of bad without it. So I won't be using Snivy. Oshawa I love because how adorable it was in the anime, but um, unfortunately, it's not the best when it comes to this. So I'm picking Tepic for the simple reason A I like fire types, B I um I like to give Embo a chance, so I've never really been a big fan of it, so I think it'd be nice to give it a chance here. So that's why I'm picking Tepic. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Cherin, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick up my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Oshawa from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca. Even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles. Inside a house? Don't be a worry, Wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled. Adam, get ready for a Pokemon battle. <laughs> I butchered that sentence. I said everything right, but I got the grammar wrong. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Okay. Gotta love the rival music. Gotta love every piece of music in Gen 5 games, actually. But here we are, we're in our first battle, and it's against Bianca. Someone voiced by myself. <laughs> a character voiced by me. <laughs> so she's gonna have Snivy for this. Um, that. Uh, but technically Bianca would have Tepic if it's linked to the anime, but no, I got Tepic this time. So hopefully I got a good nature for my Tepic. If it's modest, then um, that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to live with it. Ugh, I forgot to read that. Okay, um, we'll forget about it. I'll know for next time. <laughs> Right, so um, anyway, so this is the Pokemon I'll be picking for my journey. Everyone that will be watching this will hopefully will be commenting down below what Pokemon they'll want me to pick for the rest of the Let's Play. And um, you'll build a team around it. The reason why I'm letting you guys pick my team or the team that we're going to be using is because it's called a Let's Play, not an I Play. If it's an I Play, I'll pick all the Pokemon. And I think it would be kind of boring for the viewers then, so I decided, why not a Let's Play. But anyway, with that being said, Snivy has, I mean, Snivy has been defeated, and Tepic has almost made it to level 6. Brilliant. And I forgot to read her dialogue again. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, my room. Wow! Adam, you're going to be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. No doubt. Ugh. Bianca, will you take a look around? Whoa, whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. 
I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Adam. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Jeremy, you'd be Yonkers Pokemon. Adam's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Jeremy, you'd Adam's Pokemon. Thank you, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. You, you can't make it any worse. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep this room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Oshawott. And here we are going to the second rival battle against Cherin this time, or Sharon, I actually can't pronounce the name right, I think it's Cherin. Or Cherin, yeah, whatever. Oshawott, stand by for battle! Sends out Oshawott. Okay. Don't worry, I should be fine because it doesn't have water gun, so hopefully I'll be good. So we're going to do what is probably the best choice when it comes to anything. <laughs> Anything in this? Just... I finally become a trainer. Everything starts from here. Okay, I didn't even press A on that, so hopefully Luke is able to read that quick enough. That just goes on very quickly. Okay. <laughs> so um, yep, Oshawott's doing more damage than um, Bianca's Snivy, so that's <laughs> something. But with that being said, that's the end of that battle. Um. Wasn't even worried about losing. Wasn't worried at all. What I'm probably going to do is that um, you guys are going to probably pick my team and I will just catch every Pokemon I see along the way that I haven't caught yet because it'll be nice to get quite a fair amount of Pokemon in the Pokedex. A lot. So I can actually do what Professor Juniper asked us to do. Anyway, Tepic grew to level 6. And that's its stats so far. It looks like it's a minus special defense nature, but I'm not sure if that's normal. And it looks like a plus in maybe defense, which I think is alright, but no, it's going to be a plus speed, I reckon. I don't know. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. Thank you for the 500 Poke Dollars, Sharon. Same to you, Bianca, just since I thank you. So. <laughs> I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I better come too. Um, do you, do you want to come back and help help put this room back together? Like, you made it like this. Come back. Come back here. You ruined my room. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, I need to voice every other character. <laughs> Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. You sound like Professor Juniper, but okay. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Hey, speak of the devil. Yes, thank you. Please, excuse me. Come on. Let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh wait, I gotta go home first. Man, why do all these women sound so much alike? Thanks for having us over. Hmm, that was interesting. Well, my my, Adam. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Oh, so... I'm guessing you heard the room go everywhere. TV is probably broken. Sorry about that. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Did you win? Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Thank you. Might help. Tepic's not in good con condition at the moment. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. For the longest time, I called that an X transceiver because that's because that's how it was. 
Okay, I'm probably never going to use it, but okay. Actually, I will, but not intentionally. You're going to thank the professor too, right? No, I was going to walk off. Better get going, honey. Please don't call me honey. See ya. Ah, so many for doves. It's beautiful. Right, so what we do first, that we go to Bianca's house. Wrong house. So we're going to go to Bianca's house first. Can I just point out, there are like three homeless people here. And three houses, one for each of the main rivals. And one for each of the main rivals and yourself, along with Professor Juniper's lab. There are three homeless people in this town. Need more houses. Anyway, going in. No, no, a thousand times no. Okay. But I'm, I'm a good trainer who got Pokemon and everything. You don't have a Pokedex. I can totally go on an adventure. You don't have a town map either. Yo, you're gonna get lost. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Sure. Is you just gonna get in trouble from your dad? I'm scared to talk to him, actually. Now I'm going. Oh yeah, I can't run. Um... Let's talk, let's talk to this person and see what it's like being homeless. Do you think travelling with Pokemon change people? Uh, yeah, sure. Me too. Travelling and thinking about many things can definitely make a difference. You're not going to worry about the fact you're homeless and you probably sleep on this bed of flowers. Yeah, whatever. She likes it, she likes it. Simple as. Okay, can we go in? I want the Pokedex. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Just leave me out here then. It's okay. Not like it's cold or anything. It's just summer after all. Hi there. I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember. Always so. It's best to behave with some formality. I hope I said that word right. That being so, once again, my name is is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. I got a bit too far ahead of myself there. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I do, because this is apparently, um, something... Uh, which people do in our let's plays, so I thought I might should join in. So, um, I don't really have a plan for any future Pokemon's nicknames, so um, that might get, make me hold fire on catching some Pokemon at the moment, but it, it would just come to mind when I catch them. But this one I had a plan, I, was go I told my good friend I was going to name a Pokemon after him, he's probably not happy about the Pokemon, but um, Lucas, I named my starter after you. Um, okay, uh-huh. Ah, oh, she doesn't seem very sure about that. I see. Are you okay with the nickname Lucas? Yeah, I'm okay with sending Lucas out into battle to fight for my life. Lucas it is, <laughs> is its name. That is such a great name. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon... It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? See, that's what I mean, she didn't have a Pokedex. I'm astonished! Nice work, Cherin. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. Now, I know all this, so um, it's just Bianca that's learning here. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically report, record, rec reports, records the Pokemon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Adam, Cherin, Bianca, Power Rangers, go! <laughs> You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? You know, I'm not really feeling it. I've done it so many times before, I'm not doing it again, no. Here's what I need from you. What I want to hear are the courageous words of people who will blaze new paths around the world. I want you three to travel to many distant places and meet all the Pokemon in the Uno region. But I don't want to.
Okay, guess I'm doing it then. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Mm, thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You've given me the best possible answer. Yeah, you got a Pokedex, a device I'll probably never use. I don't know what I'm saying, the Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Oh, right, this is me. Since the professor asks us it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Hmm, of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I think there's a hidden item in the bin, so I'm just gonna... No, okay. Probably is a hidden item somewhere, just not... Don't know, so... Oh, it's my mum. Hey! Adam, wait up! God, this reminds me of a friend of mine. Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex. I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. Then why did you ask, anyway? That's why I bought you, fr you three of these town maps. Well... Okay, even I'm just being an idiot, or that sentence did not make sense. Take them with you. Yeah, I got a town map. Looks like a wallet. Okay, yeah, I'll live with it. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much. What was that? I'll never know. As for your room, Adam, or what's left of it. Yeah, see, see, these guys need to fix my room. No need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Really? Okay, Adam. Okay, okay, sure, fine. Ah, Pokemon. They are so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. Oh, they're just Space Swarm starters, so luckily... <laughs> Not much damage is done to the house. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go, will I really? I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unima region. I already know a few places I like. I want to go to Opelousa City. And become wonderful adults. I'm still a child. Have a great show. I got like seven years till I'm an adult. I think I'm 11 in this game, so... If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Adam, hurry on, come too! Okay? Yeah, stop showing off the fact you can move fast, okay? Some of us can't run yet. We're 11 years old and we don't know how to run yet, okay? Adam, it's this way! That's the only exit to the from the town, so I assume it's this way. Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey Adam, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Didn't Charon just say that? Hmm. Okay, here we go. One, two... I thought it was on the count of three. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Yeah, riveting. <sighs> it sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Riveting gameplay here, guys. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have to keep you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Okay. Ah, the traps. If she found this shiny one, I'd be really upset. <laughs> okay, so we need to fight it. We need to pound it. Or attack it, let's say. Get it down to red. Okay. Hope it, hope it doesn't attack us. Okay, we got it, yeah. Now what do we do, Professor? Use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know how to catch one, so... 
you're really teaching me something I already know, so... <laughs> Okay, congratulations, she called up a trap. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP, okay. Pokemon that still have all of their energy are difficult to catch, okay. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch, fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have, to, I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. I'm so glad this is not a Nuzlocke. <laughs> I hate Nuzlocke, I really do. Okay, thanks for the Pokeballs. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. Interesting. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in the Cumula Town. Okay. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. Okay, smart ass. Hmm. I'm heading to a Cumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. You already got given Pokeballs, so. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Adam, Jared. I thought it was something fun. We're a bit busy. Don't we have a thing to do? But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen a sec? Seriously? So that's the flighty one. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh. Actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the Professor too. Okay then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon. At your own house! You mean Snivy will do the best for sure. Okay. I'm probably not going to participate in this because I don't know names for the um, Pokemon that I can catch, but I'm just going to check um, Tepic's nature now because. Oh, sorry, Luke's nature now because I keep forgetting to. Naive. So that. Plus speed minus special defense. Okay, I knew the special defense was slow, but really plus speed. Uh, I mean, that's alright now, but it's going to be very bad in the future. Okay. Okay, so, um. Well, I know only there's two. I think there's only two Pokemon available here. So if I don't catch them, I don't catch them. But you give me a potion, I believe. I know I should have read the, the person's thing, but she. I mean, this person's only a side character. I don't even know what gender this person is, so I'm just gonna ignore her or him. Thanks for the potion. See ya. Wow, we're already at Akuma Town. Wow, riveting. How about it, Adam? Do you want to compare which one of us had the most Pokemon with, the, with them? I'm going to be honest, I probably lost this. What? 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 You already have Tepic? If you don't catch any Pokemon, won't Tepic get lonely? Yeah, call it by its name. Call it Lucas. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumula Town. The Professor is waiting. The cross transceiver is ringing. <clears throat> Hello, how is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Sure. Oh, Professor! Right now, I'm in front of Akuma Town's Pokemon Center. That was the wrong voice, but okay. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center. Right. <laughs> okay, see you. God, talking to myself. Well, I'm going on ahead. This is where my life has come to. I'm talking to myself. We finally made it to Akuma Town. Ah, the music of the meme with Ferret walking up an escalator. Ah, Adam, there you are. Travelling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know.
I will say the Pokemon Center in Gen 5 is probably one of my favorites. This is a Pokemon Center. Okay. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Honestly, I'm just glad I get to keep hearing uh, great music. I wanted to hear Kunma Town, but okay. Okay, let's start your tour. Okay, sure. Oh, hi, Bianca. Oh, wait for me. Okay. <laughs> a Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. How do they how do they pay for the insurance on this place? A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. I thought the Pokemon is the trainer's best friend. Here, Adam, give it a try. No, I'm good, I'm scared. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I wanna go back to Akum I wanna go back to the Akuma Akumula town music. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing a voice in for Nurse Joy. Uh it's literally the same stuff over and over again, so um yeah. We're gonna be here a few times though, so Yes, heal Lucas. Okay, I've done it, now what? Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use a PC at a Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, you can catch... In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six Pokemon traveling with you, the Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing. Even. What? Why is there just an even there? Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you made on your Pokedex. Professor, is there someone's PC on the screen? Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that. And go ahead to use and use the PC. Someone is a person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Can I just point out, Professor Juniper reminds me of a teacher at school. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. The gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I'm giving, well, I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to Nuvema Town. One final thing. When you get to Stryton City, go and, meet an, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journey's proved to be a venture of a lifetime. I hope the story is good. Oh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important, um, thinking. Okay. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna do something that i actually never done before, and, um, there's nothing in here. Um, I just, I just wanted to go to, um, the Professor's PC just to see what she's gonna say about my Pokedex. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you've seen three Pokemon in the Univer region. <laughs> ah, brilliant. <laughs> If you, want me, if you want to meet more Pokemon, you should try walking through the tall, gla tall grass. Well, the thing is, I did. I just didn't encounter any Pokemon. Okay, so, um... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to buy some potions, because, um... Potions are important. And because I want a Premier Ball, I'm going to buy ten. Yep, I was about to say, where's the Premier Ball? And... Great, just like that, we're broke. We've got 200 poker dollars, which is more than I have in real life. Because I have zero poker dollars. What do you sell? Mail? Wow. Stuff that I never understood, so I'm never going to use. Okay, well, that, well, that's pretty much it here. Okay, let's go. Ah, great music. Sound like, sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a little look see. These guys are going to have the same voices over and over again. Okay, because I know what's coming up is going to take a while, um, I like to think I'll probably get it done by then, because I do have a recording limit. I would like to go to 40 minutes as a max, but I might go a bit over. But who cares? It's the pilot episode of the series, so it's fine.
I haven't really spoken to Lucas who's voicing Skeksis because he's voicing Cherin and N, so I'll probably voice Skeksis. My name is Skeksis. I am here re representing Team Plasma. Pl Plasma. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Yo, he's speaking wise words. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around and... They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? Yikes, I don't know. No way. Yo, this guy's speaking the truth, mate. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a religion. I like this guy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? I like the townspeople just talking and I'm just giving the same voices as every other character I voice. That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Yo, this guy's Shakespeare, you know? I, you gotta think that. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Why can I do a good voice for Getsus but I can't do a good voice for any character in the Link series? I'll never know. <laughs> but that, I'm actually really glad with the voice for Getsus there. I'm gonna stick with it for that. About that speech. Oh wait, sorry, older man. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Okay, bye everyone. Ah, Akuma, Akuma Town. Your Pokemon, just now, it was saying... Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon... talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it, either. My name is N. My name is Cherin, and this... Is Adam. We were asked to complete the Pokedex. We just left on our journey. Hmm. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, huh? Oh, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Adam, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Thank you, Lucas, for doing that monologue for two characters, both with different personalities. But now... Come forth, my Purloin. Pokemon Universe being N. And he's got a Pokemon that's a higher level than mine. Oh dear, this is going to be a tough battle. This is going to be a tough one. Okay, so I'm going to treat this like every other Pokemon battle, so... Tackle to Oblivion because he used Growl. I'm probably not going to do that anymore though. <laughs> yeah, Tackle. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. You've scratched me? That hurts. Don't scratch me anymore, please. I'm hoping I gave enough space for Lucas to actually voice to voice Cherin and end signs. If I didn't, then uh, sorry in advance, but then I'll know what to improve for the next episode. We're probably going to call it a day after this episode, though, as um, I don't really want to do too much, and uh, I don't want this video to be too long. It's already 40 minutes in, and we have and we barely got to the second gym. No, we barely got to the we barely got to the second town.
Was that ta was those tail whips necessary? I'll never know, but that was absolutely hilarious. Lucas is going to level 7. Congratulations on landing the critical hit. At least you get to learn Ember now, which is good. And straight up to level 8. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Skyrock's in these levels. No level 9? Yeah, how, how sad. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokemons, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Okay, bye, N. Like you. Huh. Strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader, the best way for a trainer. To become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay, and with that being said, we're gonna finish off the episode here with, um, we're gonna actually gonna finish off in front of the Pokemon Center, but with probably one of the best tunes to ever be in a Pokemon game. Now, it's obviously a joke, because I do have a favourite, which is the Gym Leaders battle theme. But anyway, that is all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Please make sure to leave in the comments below which Pokemon you'd like to see use on this journey. With that being said, I've been Alan Ferns. Goodbye.